won their fourth consecutive title, and they're certainly going to be challenged in Iowa a month from now. Boy, what great leadership they're going to have going to this meet. Don't, I mean, when you got eight seniors like that, that leadership is going to help so much when you get to a Big Ten championship. Corner freestyle relay now for the men. Our final event on this historic afternoon. First ever live dual meet. And I think around the country routed some uh, gratitude from swimmers and divers uh, of all conferences around the country watching this. Uh, just some of the, the texts I get saying that I never thought I'd see the day. I, I'd say here, I've been tweeting about it all day. And I, I, the amount of tweets I'm getting from people saying this is a great thing for the sport. And great thing, a great thing for college sports as well, to be able to come in here and uh, televise a live championship like this, or a live dual game. And on Big Ten Network, we've got a tweet about uh, calling it the old soaking bucket. That's right, he needs to. Boilermakers, and Matt Freedy out first. Again, four different legs on this relay. You're swimming four lengths of the pool. Well, we saw it with the women. The lead can change hands so many different times. Strategy is to try to, most coaches will have the strategy of putting your second fastest swimmer first and your anchor leg being the fastest, but that can change many times depending on how the coach sees how those matchups are gonna be. Purdue in the lead, 45-2, the split. For Freedy, who's had a tremendous lead. Yep, he sure has, and gave Purdue a great lead. In fact, Purdue is actually first and second. And once again, when pride's on the line, just like with the women, Purdue is not going to give up. They're going to make Indiana work for every single yard in this pool. Now, once again, let's go to exchanges. We're getting into the halfway point here, Bernie. Watch this exchange. The very best in the world usually have about a tenth of a second. When I say tenth of a second of a different, the tenth of a second means when the feet lead the block to when the hand touches the wall. Anything from 10 one-hundredths to under is a really good start. Now, we don't have that capability to see that up here right now, but when you look at it, you can see these swimmers at this level are really, really good, and I'm betting somewhere between uh, 05 one-hundredths to 25 one-hundredths of a second is the difference, which is really solid right now. Ben Wachtel in the pool for Purdue. And this is the time of the year where you're really trying to fine-tune those things as you head towards the championship season. And, and not only fine-tune, but also to fight when you're really tired. Granted, we talk about how hard these guys have been training, but right now, the very last event, a lot of these guys have been swimming two, three, four events before this. So somehow or another, you've got to dig in there. And Purdue right now, at least on this relay, are digging in strong. They're one, two. Danny Tucker, who won the 50 in the pool for the Boilermakers. And John Snitaker for Indiana is going to try to break up this 1-2 lead that Purdue has on Indiana. Well, they're going to win. There's no question about Purdue is going to win this relay. Can they hold off Indiana for second and go 1-2? It, it'd be a nice little bump for the Boilermakers at this meet. Tucker and Purdue with a gigantic lead on the final length. And Purdue is going to go 1-2 in the men's 400-yard freestyle relay. 3 74 The time for Purdue A. That was fun. I love relays. And relays, when we get to the big meet, will count double points. So the scoring system changes a little bit in the fact that relays double what the individual events count for. So relays have become so critical at the, in, these, in these college meets, not only in the dual meet style, but also in the Big Ten. And